Well, Jack Holland, welcome back to Working Football Club. Thank you very much. And uh, you you weren't one of the first to, to re-sign. Has, have you had some other offers and things to consider before you chose Working again? Yeah, yeah, I was um, very lucky this summer to have um, be contacted a few times and I did have some lovely offers. Uh, and Obviously, it's very nice to sort of receive as a player. Uh, it shows you had quite a good season the year before. Um, so I had a little bit of thinking time. I went away, but uh, spoke to the manager all summer. Kept in contact with Dallas from the get-go, from uh, the end of season to now. Um, and to be honest, the more I spoke to him, the more I realised if um, I think I think the best thing you can do as a player and manager is just be completely honest with each other. So put all our cards on the table. Um, and as I say, when I, once I spoke to him um, at the beginning of the season to now, nothing's really changed. Uh, it was just more about if I'm what I want to do moving forward, and my decision in the end was if I want to stay, if I'm going to stay at this level, um, this is the club I want to do it with. I had a fantastic season last year, loved it. Um, everyone's been so welcoming, and I've loved my time here. Uh, and I said to him from the start, I'm ambitious, and I want to play at the highest level I can again. Um, and the only way my head would be turned is if um, I had a lovely football league club offer that suited me, uh, but it'd have to be the right, the right way. And as I say, I'm. Um, I'm looking forward to this season now, uh, and because of because of the time I had here, and because of the manager, and because of the boys, and everything like that, if I'm going to stay at this level, there's nowhere I'd rather be. Brilliant. Well, you've, you've answered my next question, which was going to be, how did he sell you the club? But you sort of explained that. So, while Douse was competing for your signature, it sounds like he was pushing it an open door, really. Uh, yeah. No. Do you know what? It's um, as a player, uh, sometimes things uh, attract you in different ways. Uh, ambition's massive for me. As I don't want to sort of take part. I want to. I want to be running the things, and I want to. And the manager shares the same ambition. Uh, he's got very big ambitions uh, and hopes for this football club. Uh, and as a player, I want to be a part of that. Um, so that was always really nice to hear. Uh, we're, we're obviously moving forward. We're in the league above now, um, and we're looking to kick right on. But like I say, I, I was never one to sort of want to maintain. I want. I want to kick on again. And um, and um, fingers crossed, the uh, the future is very bright for this football club, and I want to be a part of it. And unlike perhaps most of last season's squad of team, you've actually got quite a lot of experience, not just at this level, national league, but the one above. And you've succeeded at both of those as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah as we were discussing beforehand, you're you're 28 now, so arguably absolutely in your prime so you really should yeah. be able to do it again well that's what I'm hoping as I say I, um, I've, I've, everyone's got a point to prove uh, for one reason or another uh, I have scored goals at this level in the league above but um, that's in the past now I want to prove that I'm better again than I've ever been um, and I've still got the fire burning in me to do that so fingers crossed I can take the experience that I've had in the past from this level uh, use it and kick on again um, like I say I've still got ambitions to play at a higher level as every player I believe should, because that's what drives us as footballers. Um, but while I'm here and while I'm at this level, hopefully football club goes into the league. I think it's a league club. I think it's a fantastic place to be. I'm really excited for the future this club holds. Um, but while I'm at this level, I use the experience from being here before uh, and a few other things I've learned. And fingers crossed I can go and score some goals and we can win some games this season. Yeah, brilliant. Well, you certainly scored some goals last season. You were, you were actually joint top goal scorer with Max, but um, he had a little bit of a built in advantage didn't he well with the penalties yeah I've, uh, I've been on to Geffer about that I said I want penalties <laughs> this year I, as I say it makes a big difference to your tally, uh, your tally as a striker um, and I would love penalties this year but to be fair to him Max is a, he takes a good penalty and he, he didn't miss many so um, I will be fighting for that again of course I want to score goals but um, yeah as I say it was um, had a really really good season loved my time here and, and managed to get some really important goals absolutely notably of course that certain game at Swindon. That, yeah, was that yeah. a real highlight of your career so far? Not it was definitely up there. The highlight, but yeah, it was definitely up there. Of course, it's brilliant. A, a few extra bits built in for me. The fact I started there, and come up as a scholar, sort of learn your trade there, um, and uh, as I say, the fact that it was a winner uh, and scored. I don't know. It was. It, it was very special for me. I had friends and family there, um, and it was very, very special for me. Uh, going back to that and I'll, I'll look back at that and remember that for the rest of my life definitely yeah. 100% um, as I will with the semi-final goal as well there's not many times you score a 90 second minute winner in a game never mind in the semi-final so yeah. it, was, it was another lovely experience and and that and all those sort of things come in uh, and this football club will be very close to me and, and, and as I say for the rest of my time I, I've loved my time here it's got very special memories for me and 
I look back. I think now I, when I look back when I retire, I'd love to come back and watch games here and things like that and be built into the history. So that's that's another big big reason I wanted to stay this season. Great. Um, looking back to last season again, did you miss rather more games than you might have hoped? Definitely, definitely. Listen, we all going into the season. We all aim to try and play fifty games. Um, we we might not do it, but we want to play fifty games. I can't stand missing football. Uh, there's nothing worse for me uh, than stood on the sideline not being able to help watching the boys play. I can't stand it. Um, and I, I did play in some very big games last season: the Watford game, the Swindon game, the sem semi-final, and the final. But I did miss some as well, and I was very disappointed with that. Uh, I remember notes uh, like the one that sticks out in my head is Torquay at home. Uh, massive, massive game yeah. built up, and watching that really, really hurt. I hated it. Hated every second of it. Didn't want to be honest. Didn't even want to be there because it was so annoying, so frustrating, not being able to play and help. Um, but it is what it is. It's football. Uh, injuries are part of it. But this season, that definitely needs to change for me. I want to. I want to be on the pitch much more and play as many games as I can. So I'm looking to be stronger and fitter than ever. And is, is there anything you can identify about last season that led to these niggling injuries? Because they weren't massive ones, were they? No, I, I spent a lot of time trying to maintain things. Um, and again, it's a conversation I've, I've had with the manager as well. Um, rather than maintaining it, uh, if I have to, if I, I, I want it sorted, I want to be fit. So rather than sort of trying to maintain it to get through the next game, get through the next game, yeah. um, I, I want to nip it in the bud, be strong and be sorted and kick on from there. Because... Um, Obviously, it's something he's mentioned to me as well in the summer. It needs us need me on the pitch more, and I completely agree with it. Definitely, definitely, and uh, we're we're looking at ways that that can be a big big help. But I'm absolutely fine from the little niggles I had last season. Gone away this summer. I've worked very hard. I've had the right treatment and things like that, and I'm coming back fit. So I'm looking forward to a, a strong, positive season. And of course, you have a, a quite an advantage over many players in terms of your training and so on as a as a trainer that's it yeah yeah so again the knowledge I've got from my my own business and stuff helps massively uh, and I'm going to be writing my own programs and stuff like that so that every week I think a big part of it is consistency so if every week I'm I know the training I'm doing away from the football club uh, works well with the training we're doing at the football club I'm sure it'll be very help because a bit of me like I say I want to be full-time so I need to train like a full-time pro um, I'm not one of these people that will train for where I am, I will train for where I want to be. So that's a big belief in my training and that's a big belief in my football that if I want to be the best, I've got to train like the best. So I will be very intense this season, very strict on myself and write myself a programme and hopefully that puts me in good stead going into the season. And those of us who follow your Instagram account can see fairly often how hard you, you work and what you're putting into this. So yeah, that's it. I mean, can't be doubted. That's, that's massive for me. I mean. I'm a big believer in you, you put in what you get out, so um, I mean, you get out what you put in. So it's it's one of those situations where the harder you work, I'm hoping the more success you get. And that's the way I've always thought, and that's the way I'm going to continue to think. Great. And uh, finally, then the business still going? Is business it, is still it, going. Is business is still good. Up? Yeah, absolutely. I had a couple of weeks off in the summer, uh, enjoyed my time off. Obviously, after a successful season uh, I wanted to go away and relax on yeah. on the beaches so I had a couple of weeks off uh, but right back down to business now back training myself I actually had to do some training myself when I was out there couldn't sit still for too long got uh, got itchy but um, but yeah no back now back at it back to pre-season back to work and, and uh, ready to kick on and remind everyone you're based in Windsor based in Windsor and it's where I run my business so I run my business out of a gym called Five Star Fitness um, and yes, uh, Pride Training uh, is my is my logo for my business. And that's P R Y, isn't it? P R Y D E, spelt yeah. like the name. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So um, so yeah, that's that's business going well. But yeah, anyone that wants to come down, give me a shout. That'd be fantastic. Be happy to help you get to where you want to be. Absolutely. Great. Thanks for your time. This no afternoon. problem at all. Thank Great you for having to see me. You back. Yeah, good. Good. Uh, Looking forward to a new season. Thank you very much.